People are blinded by the brilliance of the Achiever. Ignoring the field of corpses around them. I know I'm going to die here. Everything I do is doomed in the same. But even if I die here, I will prove something. In the end, I'm still me. by the brilliance of the Achiever. Ignoring the field of corpses around them. I know I'm going to die here. Everything I do is doomed in the same. But even if I die here, I will prove something. In the end, I'm still me. They say that those who sign the contract are doomed. They say that those chased by a puppet are also chased by misfortune. Personally, I don't have an opinion. I'm an AI after all. Even so, I'm required to read you the rules before you can proceed. Now. Shall we start? Seven days ago, you were born into a world that appears irrevocably fragmented and doomed to repeat itself in an endless cycle of death. Yet, there may be a way to break free from this grim fate through a child, a puppet, a contract. Just be aware, they say that those who sign the contract are doomed that those chased by a puppet are also chased by misfortune.
Okay, hello everyone. Hi, and good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Yes, I hope everyone has eaten and always well, stay hydrated. Yeah. So yes, today is a demo showcase for iCode. I'm not supposed. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to actually say the title of this game. AI code or I code. And yeah, I am very very thankful for the developer. Also, uh, one thing: uh, this game is actually a solo. It's a solo dev, so it is very, very interesting. Uh, so I'm kind of happy to be able or was given the chance to even showcase this game. So, yeah. Uh, this is one of the games that I actually like found like around two years ago or... Yeah, around two years ago. Late around November two years ago so yeah uh, it looked very interesting it's, uh, especially visually and the concept of it uh, it's one of those games so I'm very very excited to play it so without any further ado while I'm preparing and launching it out uh, for you guys, you can actually check out the game. This is where their social is. This is their website for the game. You can check their socials there and this is where you can check them on Steam as well. I don't mind <laughs> reading. Uh, the, the developer themselves uh, told that uh, I can publicly share some uh, the part of uh, the email, but I'd rather show it to you guys rather than just reading it out, just so that you can uh, see for yourselves. And also for those who might be interested on uh, getting the demo as well uh check their twitter you can check their twitter account and they have sent out uh, i just saw it just a while ago the, they have sent out some a new google doc for you to sign up and then uh, fill up the information there that is being required and then hopefully you'll get the demo as well so yeah Oh, then so before as you guys have watched I just showed you guys some sneak peeks or the trailers essentially of it uh, from what is said the game demo is around like 30 to 40 minutes which is a good time that is something that I actually do review on uh, game demos not too long not too short and it is for the public viewing or for public tryouts on especially if it's for events because <laughs> I, I, I i have encountered some uh game demos that actually really lasted way longer than expected and then not really much is going on so but then again it depends on what type of game it is so this one i'm actually very very interested like in what they are showcasing especially from what i've been seeing around uh what they have been teasing as well so and some tid notes that the developer has said as well so uh, I'll be checking those out as well and be showing you guys. So, without any further ado, I hope my audio is alright. I hope any volume is okay. You guys can let me know if it's too loud or am I too soft? Hopefully. 
Hopefully not. But yeah. Without any further ado, let us move here. I'll take you guys over here. Chata. Alright. Okay, there we go. Uh okay, we are at the main menu. I hope the audio is capturing the thing. Yeah. There we go. Uh this game as well, uh it is supposed to be played on controller, so I will be testing out it on how well it is for controller and between keyboard and mouse as well. So th that is something to know. Uh, what they have said as well that the the final product, the final product, there's no dated. There's no time, official time where it will be when it will be released. It will be released for PC and Xbox or PS5. So that is something to look forward to for PC players and for those who play on consoles. So yeah. So right now I'm going to be testing it around on PC. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have a console, but PC, but I do have a controller, so we'll be testing that later. How do I? Oh, there we go. There you go. Yes. So, I code. AI code will be double checking because I did sort of like launch this yesterday. I hope the audio is not bad, nothing changed. And this is their UI looking very, very nice. Let's put you back to 60. Why? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you know what? Yeah, sure. So, how's the audio for you guys? I hope it's not too loud. Or is it okay? But yeah, uh, the languages that are supported in this game is, of course, English. Espanol, French, Dutch, Italian, Portuguese, and Japanese. Yeah. Japanese. Okay. There you go. But I cannot read those, so I only understand a little bit of Spanish, but here. English. Hello, Kanu. Hi, welcome. How are you? And yes, hi, hi, hi. How are you? I hope I'm not too soft. I hope you can hear me this time, bro. <laughs> I'm. Am I peeking or what? You guys just let me know. Yeah, it's fine. I'm adjusting as I listen. Alright. I'm adjusting as well according to you guys if just in case like the game is might be too loud. I I'm not entirely sure how it is. Because for me I'm hearing it in different volume, of course. But I'm not sure on the output, so you just let me know. But yeah, without any further ado, we are going to be starting. Where's the mouse? Uh, 
Oh, good. Um, there you go. Bonk, bonk. What game this? Ah, this is called AI Code. I Code. Yeah. This is a interesting game that I have found a few years back during it's still under development but uh, really looking forward to until it's released so I've been actually following it from time to time especially when it pops out in my feed I actually discovered this game on Twitter <laughs> so yeah so Twitter is a wonderful place guys yeah you guys can are able to see some indie developers there so go check them out and yeah, this one. Again, let me post you guys the links. This is their official site, and this is them on Steam. Yeah. Okay, without any further ado, let us begin. Yes. This is a very nice, a simple cover. Don't mind the random noise in the background. This is not a work of fiction. The characters and events depicted in this video game are entirely real. Any resemblance to real, living, or deceased individuals, or to actual events, is not mere coincidence. From this moment on, you will undergo the degradation of a mind, memories struggling against each other, trying to form a message, trying to remember a reason for existing in. Reality, the state or quality of having existence. However, what defines existence? What makes something exist? What is your reason for existing? Oh, <laughs> okay, that is an uh, interesting opening there. And um, yes, hi, hello, welcome, Waffles. Hi, welcome. Nice to meet you. Okay, I can see the AI. I'm not sure if this is going to be improved and I have a cat here. How's it going? Doing well. How are you? Uh -huh, okay. I can't run so I'm just casually walking towards the excavation point at this point. <laughs> It all starts in the real world. The person who made this game was obsessed with making an exact copy of Shibuya. A real district of Tokyo, even if it took years. But the question is, e why? Okay. Saya. I ex- I would have thought. Eee! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the read! Hi! Thing. I haven't oh, touched God. anything else. But yes, hi, Waffles welcome, welcome to all opened the Rift new five chapters. Years. And thank you for the read. Oh my goodness. Welcome to all the readers. I am <laughs> Okay, I am Hector Levy. I am a variety streamer and I stream yeah, a variety of games. Mostly I do check out uh demos and HSR like that and then I do art, but lately I, I, I'm just recently coming back again to streaming. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy your time here. Yeah, that is such an okay. Oh, it's okay. Okay, I didn't ex 
expect like the models to have like a variety so this is quite interesting usually they only have like copies but I do say, see the copies here and how they interact okay Shibuya so apparently do interact with them I'm testing uh, the graphics so there is a motion blur <laughs> so and Oh wait, that trailer? That is from another game actually. Uh, I forgot the name of that game, but this is this is another indie game that is on that billboard. Oh, there it is. Damon Car in era and and in era like that. Yeah. Get a hell with Captain Beauty. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh is yeah I, I would turn off motion blur but there's no setting here so Real. hopefully in the future maybe it's time to wake up don't you think okay is it loading I might need to bring down some graphics Sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. Tab, scanner, surroundings, discover clues, tab again to unscan. Under. Okay. Yeah, I gotta run and doing that in the graphics. Let's see if I have motion blur here. Uh, okay. So there is no motion blur. Yeah, there is no motion blur, unfortunately, or to disable it. But we shall see, maybe on the final product of the game, we are able to get more options in the... Well, options is technically. Yeah. Didn't have much issue. So, hi. Yeah, I, I might bring down a bit. Does it need to have ultra? Wait. I can just set it on here directly. Hi, there we go. I don't have a problem much on it, so yeah. Hi, Spring! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you? Okay, let's continue. There is a lot of uh, improvement here, so it's gonna be interesting. Tab, you say? Oh. Okay, that is a chromatic aberration. Nice. So, is she using the robot to do the scanning? This is such a visually appealing <laughs> game. Okay. And I actually don't like the music, it's so gentle. Okay, bye bye. As 
life treating you these days? Life's the usual, you know, work, bills, trying Best to have some fun. Him. Yeah, totally get that. And, uh, how's that new job at the clockwork factory going? Oh, you know, it's a paycheck, but it's repetitive. Feels like I'm just another gear in the machine, quite literally. Well, at least you're fitting in with the whole vibe of this place. But are you still thinking about that mechanics apprenticeship? Yeah, I am. The idea of working on those machines, creating something from scratch, it's enticing. Remember when we used to tinker with gadgets back in school? <laughs> those were the days, man. Building steam-powered contraptions in your garage. Remember the time we almost blew up Miss Jenkins' mailbox? Yeah. <laughs> it is actually a very steam-powered They do about problem solving, didn't they? <laughs> no doubt. Life's short, man. You're right. But we're young. And there's a world of possibilities out there. Okay. Oh, uh, you're still useful. talking. She's okay. More. That's the spirit. Hey, whether it's tinkering with machines or exploring uncharted territory, we should do it while we still can. Packed it is. Here's to turning our own gears and embracing the adventure. <laughs> Just uh, promise me you won't blow anything up this time. All right? Yeah, yeah. No mailbox explosions on this journey. Well, let's start by finding some place that serves a decent cup of steamed coffee. My gears could use a kickstart right about now. Hell, he right has a mind. southern accent. Let's go huh? find that coffee. Keep our gears grinding in the right direction. Okay. They do have their own thing. Oh, I can't go there yet. Nice. I'm actually already loving the atmosphere of this. Oh, oops, sorry. <laughs> Remember the time we almost blew up? Oh, we can play the guitar. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to be assuming or imagining that people would be, if this is being released in the future, they're going to be starting to make music out of that. Like a few other games that I have played that has rhythm about it, that you can mess around. Can I go? What secrets? Can I not other run? Okay. Oh, okay, that is smart. Okay, in this world I cannot scan.
Aren't you tired of being a puppet? Do you ever feel like there's a destiny? A bigger purpose pushing us towards an end? Even the beginning feels scripted. As you watch fate shuffle those tarot cards, deciding your future, is that what you truly want? Thank you. Sorry about the ads, guys. Raccoons decorated the gallery. Come back. Press area. Close attacks. In the air for area combos. Okay. Oh, we're already jumping in into combat. Okay. Oh no, is it stuck? Oh, okay. Okay, they have to indicate if it's under. Hold, launch in the air. Hold. Okay, down. Shift the dash. When an enemy attacks, da da. Locked on enemy. Okay. Okay, this is changing lock. This is dash. That is hold. Oh, is she like skating? This is like ice skating. What the heck? That is some interesting detail. Break it. That's my famous quote. If you can't handle ads, just spend five dollars. <laughs> oh my god. Every man's world picture is always remains construct in his mind, kind of proof to another existence. Picture look sometimes I think about this. Is this picture the world she truly desired? What is real and what is fake? The line is blurry, like you. Let's go back to the initial question. Are you real? No, better yet. Are you alive? Oh. So, guys, are you real or are you alive? <laughs> okay, let's go for yes here. Really? Why? It's unfair that you're limited to responding with just yes and no. Why well, I have the freedom to write like this? She probably felt the same way. But still, many times I ponder if it was really the right thing to do. In the end, the question loses its significance. Yes and yes. Oh, okay. It's all a matter of perspective. In your eyes, you are alive. Yet in actuality, you parallel the Schnorger Schrod Schrod what? <laughs> Schrodinger's cat experiment. A cat coexisting in life and death. Simultaneously, but different worlds. In different worlds, within a closed box, similar to yourself, akin to her. Shall we open the box? Yes. Okay, finally that is moving. Monday 25. Day. Can I sit on the bench? 
accuracy. Oh, I can't interact with the bench. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> the cat. Press. My name is Catrick Kit Kateman, 27 years old. I believe in talking. Okay. <laughs> Well, bye bye. Who needs cats? Me. <laughs> ah, yes. Peta would not be happy with about about that. Okay, I really love the music. And oh. Oh, okay, I can fight many. Yeah, she is like uh, ice skating. Wee. Bye bye. <laughs> I can just keep on killing all the cats. Oh my god. Oh. I just, what? What happened to my hand? Wait, why is- why now it's not turning into a skeleton? What the heck? Oh, there it is. It is becoming a skeleton. Can I go here? We are dead. We're dead guys, we're not alive all this time. Seven out of ten, eight cats. Well, you're the last one. Oh, you've killed all the cats. Do you think this is a game, a challenge? They give you a counter, and you become a murderer. When the world restarts and you come back here, you will get what you deserve. You are free, but your actions have consequences. <laughs> oh. Well then, I leave for the challenge. <laughs> oh, I like that we I can just stay like this. Just ice skating my way up. Oh. You are here, Aiko. Aiko? No, I... I'm... Aiko, you keep telling yourself that you are Nia, but you are Aiko. 
Yet your mind is so deteriorated that you genuinely believe that's your life. In that beautiful town, with that stupid spherical robot as a pet. It's over. I allowed you to revel in your absurd tale of a happy life. But now, it's my turn to read you my book. The Satire of Any Slave. Uh, there's the drop of the subtitle. Okay, don't mind if you guys hear <laughs> random noises in my background, but yeah. In an abandoned theater lived a very special puppet. It had no face or name, only strings that moved it. Oh, okay, there's a little jitter here. Saturday 16. Oh. While well, swimming or flying. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't expect like an underwater scene. So it is interesting. Visually appealing as well. One day, a curious child entered the theater and found the nameless puppet. Instantly, he felt a magical connection and decided to take it home. child became sad and confused. One day, the nameless puppet took the child within its strings and with a sorrowful voice said, Dear child, I am your reflection. You've given me life, but I've also taken yours. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. Mmm, interesting. The puppet boss fight, select difficulty, rage of Saya, no hit, hard, easy. Okay, let's start with easy. Sprinting, shooting, sh hold shift to dash. Aiko will start running after dashing. Hold the middle. For shooting, your character will unleash a continuous stream of bullets. Okay. Remember, shooting is less effective than melee attacks. Use it when the enemy is attacking you. When the enemy is idling or charging, use. Okay. Maximize damage. Watch for indicators above Aiko's head, signaling incoming chain attacks. Keep in mind, there are other pattern attacks, like area and projectile base. Pay attention to the music. Oh yeah, that is something that I uh, have seen from before while it was in development. Like, it correlates with the music. The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Oh my god.
Oh, okay. I am bad with input. <laughs> My ear is so bad. Thank you for this. Slurpee. Is the black and white a sign that I'm dying? It's just easy mode. Well then. <laughs> okay, now I it's have to actually it. listen. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. But that is the item.
Oh my god, this reminds me of freaking near. <laughs> the dodging of balls. Up. Keep on shooting her now at this point. Ah! Yippee boys, yes, you just noticed the yippies. Enter to sign the contract and kill the puppet. Oh, we're not given any choice. Okay. bug. That's how they look when they don't have animations. It's the intrinsic nature of this world. Who are you? <laughs> I killed you. Oh, come on. Weren't you paying attention to my story? The puppet and the child. I am your reflection. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. But is that true? Or did you desire to fix this fractured world? The one she shattered. She who died in your world. <laughs> was alive in this one. Do you even care, Aiko? You gave up. You chose to exist in this perpetual loop where everything repeats endlessly. Break it. A mind that deteriorates slowly, refusing to accept the truth. The child broke its strings. You did it too. You broke my strings. Your strings. But in doing so, you closed your eyes as the butterfly landed on them. You signed a contract so long ago. This contract allowed you to see beyond this fractured world. You leap through countless timelines, leaving behind multiple versions of yourself. Dying over and over again in an endless cycle of death. And at the end, you achieved nothing. You decided to lock yourself in this box, alive and dead, at the same time, in a loop that you call reality. The state or quality of having existence. However, what defines existence? Oh. What makes something exist? What is your reason for existing? Uh. Oh. We're just back at the beginning. Oh, okay. That is such a smooth way of transitioning that. Do I just break the loop or... What if I don't? What happens if I don't? Who is that cat? Why is that cat following me is the question.
It all starts in the real world. The person who made this game was obsessed with making an exact copy of Shibuya. Oh, the real look. district of Tokyo, even if it took years. But the question is, why? That is such a smooth transition. I actually like that. Oh, we can... We can take photos. <laughs> Okay, don't mind me, guys. Uh, sorry. Uh, I get distracted if there's a photo thing. Okay, so you have a lot of options. So. Ow. Rendering, what do you mean by that? Um. Okay, that is actually interesting. What do you mean? Character rotation. Oh, okay. Double field, what is this? I have a thing for pictures. There's a frame. Huh. Logo, yeah. Let us put the logo on. Why is it on the center? Can I not move it? Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. How do I get out of this? Better go. If it goes from that, it really stutters for a bit. This one we didn't break the chain. Real. That word again. Maybe it's time to wake up, don't you think? Does it affect or does it give a different effect?
Okay, the loading butterfly is <laughs> lagging again. Uh, sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. Okay. Rest. Oh. Is there something else in the evening? You won't believe what I stumbled upon near the clock tower last night. Again? Seriously, your talent for stumbling upon hidden gems is uncanny. What's the story behind this one? An absolute relic, I swear. Yeah, oh, they have a different cravings, the whole shebang. Thought you might be interested in solving time. the mystery with me. Deciphering under the moonlight. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Until we find ourselves in secret tunnels or messing the trapdoor. <laughs> no trapdoors, okay? I promise. Come on, it could be interesting. All right, Captain Curiosity, you can work on that, and I'll keep my ears open for. You know, any juicy nighttime gossip. Of course. <laughs> you and your gossip. <laughs> I guess some things never change. Okay. Did anything to change? Other than that. Like the music actually changed. I really like the flow that it, it interacts with the audio itself. Okay, let's do this in the night then. Huh? What is going on? Different dialect this time. Aren't you tired of being a puppet? Do you ever feel like there's a destiny? A bigger purpose pushing us towards an end? Even the beginning feels scripted. As you watch fate shuffle those tarot cards, deciding your future, is that what you truly want? Break it. Is she blind? That's a question that I am kind of curious. It's a different time this time. Killer, killer, killer. Oh, oh. Okay, this is different. Uh. Oh. Three. Is this currently the dude the nine lives? Four. Oh. Five. 
I'm not hitting them. I am only watching it. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Oh no, is this? Oh, now I can move. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Oh no, am I stuck like this? The endless death of a cat? Oh no, yeah! Run! <laughs> no, the cat! Is there no way escaping this? Okay, we're forced to break the loop. <laughs> oh, restart the loop. No data. Do you want to restart the loop? This will delete all your saved data. 19. Okay. This is not a work of fiction. The characters that is a credit. depicted in this video game are entirely real. Any resemblance to real, living, or deceased individuals, or to actual events, is not mere coincidence. From this moment on, you will undergo the degradation of the mind, memories struggling against each other, trying to form a message, trying to remember a reason for existing in. My god. Nice, okay, that is nice. Yeah, uh, this is by a solo developer named Ace. So, very, very well done. Such a simple game, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm actually curious how the story will actually go. guys about the game now it's just a matter of repeating and repeating what can be done in the game okay uh, I'm going to be testing out on the controller and see how it goes so right now I'm in controller for the next replay of this and see how we interact with it. Ow. Move jump. This is a cat. RB is shooting. RP is dodging.
Okay. Uh, let's go back to the title screen. <laughs> I guess that's the punishment of killing all the cats. Let's try out the... This is not a work of fiction. The characters and events depicted in this video game are entirely real. Any resemblance to real, living, or deceased individuals, or to actual events, is not mere coincidence. From this moment on, you will undergo the degradation of a <laughs> memory struggling against There each was other. an option I with you, meaning but oh uh, well, I guess that's my punishment. <laughs> existing in reality. The state or quality of having existed. Don't worry, the other. This However, time, I'm just gonna be petting what them. What defines existence? What makes something exist? What is your reason for existing? Also, one thing that I directed by Ace, that is a nice way of putting the credits in the start. I, I, I haven't noticed that. That is so good. That is very, very nice. How dare you! What? Come on, it's just once, it's just once. This time I pet them, it okay? It all starts in the real world. The person who made this game was obsessed with making an exact copy of Shibuya. A real district of Tokyo, even if it took years. But the question is, why? Yeah, this is much more smoother in... What do you call this? Um, controller. I can see why. Oh yeah, there's another... Uh, again, for those who just came in, that is another uh, indie game that is actually in the works called Enenra. En Enera. Demon game. It's a, from what I understand, it's a slash, slash type game. You can check it on the Twitter of iCode. Uh, they have posted or shared about it, or more essentially the from the devs Twitter account actually. Oh well, yeah, that. I want to share again the thing for the information and more about the world. Actually, you can check on their website and essentially on their Steam. But yeah, uh, wishlist thought uh, wishlist it on Steam. I don't know the details or when exactly is the release, so that would be something to look forward to. Okay, let's continue on. Real. That word again. Maybe it's time to wake up, don't you think? So it really takes place on different lives and different timelines. Sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. LB is the scan. How many times can I rest? <laughs> that is morning, this is night.
you could stay here and not continue, beyond this day you will only find a sad end for up for this place. Something that happened because of you, but that's a memory you don't want to see, right? Oh, okay, there's another take. Sure. Oh. Oh. Everything's on fire. This is fine. <laughs> oh my god. The question is how did I affect this? They're dead. My creator was a Sinagi. Yours too. Oh. I can't even touch the fire. Oh, well. So this is what happens if you guys, uh, guys just sleep. <laughs> Everything's fine. Is this a different interaction? Loading, loading. Oh. Uh, sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. It just brings me back here. Well then. Antique weapon collector. Amateur detective. So hard to read. How, how does one play a guitar with a controller? Change chord scale. I forgot how to play a guitar already. <laughs> I don't know my keys anymore, so. Any more secrets here? Yes, I could. Thank you. Watchmaker and Collector. Huh? What is 
going on? The cutscenes are so Aren't nice, though. Are you tired of being a puppet? Do you ever feel like there's a destiny? A bigger purpose pushing us towards an end? Even the beginning feels scripted. As you watch fate shuffle those tarot cards, deciding your future, is that what you truly want? Break it. Oh, okay. How do, how do I attack again? Okay, of course. It is much more easier to dodge with the controller. Killer, killer. No, <laughs> I'm still a cat. No, how do I, how do I break it? The question is, how do I break it? Let me break it if you want me to break. Wait, how do I... How do I leave then? No! <laughs> how do I break it? Let me break it. Come on. Oh, I can't even exit. Am I stuck? Am I actually stuck in a loop? Oh no. I can't actually escape. Oh no, I can't escape. I don't know if this is actually intentional or is it bugged? No! Oh god, my controls are even reversed now. What? Oh no, what happened? <laughs> Oh, is by breaking it, is it actually leaving the game itself? I'm back into the mouse and. Okay, let's relaunch the game then. <laughs> huh. Okay, let us try relaunching the game. Okay, we're back in actual beginning again. 
It is art. No, uh, oh, the, uh, don't worry, that's just my the profile. <laughs> so, no take and don't kill the cats, it breaks our game for some reason. I swear to Twitch chat auto fills the spaces I'm making the CMD. Try the spacing between the Steam link and the website. Killing the cat should break the game. It's the highest cry. <laughs> Come on. Hopefully, in the future, we are able to, like, uh, what do you call this? be able to maybe remap controls as well so that is something to be checking or to be added in the UI system wait why is my controller not working now? it's fully better it's full power this off but let's try not killing the cats this time this is not a work of fiction the character I can skip right what happens if I skip the cutscenes does it affect anything it all starts in the real world the person who made this game was obsessed with making an exact copy of Shibuya. A real district of Tokyo, even if it took years. But the question is, why? Okay, let's continue. Continue this. Skip the cutscene. Real. Yes, let's be true. I swear, if I still end up with the cat, I go. Uh, sorry, Lamy. I got lost in my thoughts there for a sec. Oh, let's get going. I bet Emma is waiting for us at the orphanage. Continue. How's my free deal these days? Life's the usual, you know, work. Photographer, aerial acrobat, trapeze artist. Oops, sorry. Our 
Aren't you tired? Okay, we've seen this one. Because I'm curious about the cat. Oh, now it's working. Okay. Every man's world picture is and always remains a construct of his mind and cannot be proved to have any other existence. Erwin Schrodinger. So last time I answered yes. What about if I answered no this time? What happens? You're probably right. Oh. It's all a matter of perspective. In your eyes, you are dead. Yet in actual actuality, you parallel the Schrodinger's cat experiment. A cat coexisting in life and death simultaneously. But in other worlds, within a closed box, Similar to yourself, akin to her. Shall we open the box? Yeah. Was there running water sound in the beginning? I believe in talking. Mew, mew, mew. I still kick the first cat. Oh my god. Well, uh, that happened. Let's pet all the cats this time. Not kill any of them. Oh, okay. What is that animation? So that is something to. a minor thing to fix. Is there a different effect if we pet all the cats? Not killing them this time. We can only go upstairs like this. <laughs> it would have been so easy. You are here, Aiko. Aiko, 
No, I... I'm... Aiko. You keep telling yourself that you are Nia, but you are Aiko. Yet your mind is so deteriorated that you genuinely believe that's your life. In that beautiful town, with that stupid spherical robot as a pet. It's over. I allowed you to revel in your absurd tale of a happy life. But now, it's my turn to read you my book. The Satire of Any Slave. Mm-hmm. If we're glad, if... What do you call this? In an abandoned theater lived a very special puppet. It had no face or name, only strings that moved it. One day, a curious child entered the theater and found the nameless puppet. Instantly, he felt a magical connection and decided to take it home. became sad and confused. One day, the nameless puppet took the child within its strings and with a sorrowful voice said, Dear child, I am your reflection. You've given me life, but I've also taken yours. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. Okay, I've done it easy. How much different is the hard version? <laughs> the tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Uh, okay. Oh my god, I'm dead already. <laughs> Okay. That almost like no hit. It's the tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Ah. Oh god. Oh my god. Come on. That we can see the help that uh, we can see. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you can just be cheeky and just keep on shooting her. <laughs> Oh god.
no black and white is not good. I cannot see anything. Can I get my this? Oh my god, I forgot about this. No! Okay. You know, I might as well. <laughs> How many times I'm gonna die at this point? The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Jump too early. No. The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. How did that hit? Is a question. I jumped. Huh? Hmm? Well, this is one way to the test on the hitbox. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For you to do the no hit, you have to actually memorize it. I haven't memorized it properly. Okay, I have to actually finish this thing. The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Visually colorly impaired. Oh, they have colors. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh god, I died. No, you're so close. <laughs> Getting distracted by colors. What the, the hell? The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is Sorry guys, you have to be seeing this one. <laughs> gradually shuts down. So you cannot hit her on that mode. Okay. The tale has ended. Your reality uh. fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. I cannot see the... <laughs> this is a slow and painful way of trying not to die. 
Oh, never mind. I did not see that. Eh? So, that's the pattern. Okay. The tale has ended. Ah. The reality phase. Slowly but surely. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. Everything's fine, yes, guys. Everything's fine. 
<laughs> okay, one more time. One more time. I just need to get through this the without killing the catch this time. Your reality Come on. Away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually. This is my punishment for killing the cats. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh wait, you know what? They, they just kill me, just kill me, just kill me. Can I fumble there? Hey. The tale has ended. Your reality fades away. What you see now is the last line of code of an AI that gradually shuts down. There you go.
doing so, the child fell to the ground alongside the puppet, closing his eyes forever. No, that's not a bug. That's how they look when they don't have animations. It's the intrinsic nature of this world. <laughs> oh, come on. Weren't you paying attention to my story? The puppet and the child. I am your reflection. Look at me. I am what you truly desire. But is that true? Or did you desire to fix this fractured world? The one she shattered. She who died in your world <laughs> was alive in this one. Do you even care, Aiko? You gave up. You chose to exist in this perpetual loop where everything repeats endlessly. Break it. A mind that deteriorates slowly, refusing to accept the truth. The child broke its strings. You did it too. You broke my strings. Your strings. But in doing so, you closed your eyes as the butterfly landed on them. You signed a contract so long ago. This contract allowed you to see beyond this fractured world. You leap through countless timelines, leaving behind multiple versions of yourself, dying over and over again in an endless cycle of death. And in the end, you achieved nothing. You decided to lock yourself in this box, alive and dead, at the same time, in a loop that you call reality. The state or quality of having existence. However, what defines existence? What makes something exist? What is your reason for existing? So, there's the loop. The endless loop. This is not a work of fiction. The characters and events depicted in this video game are entirely real. Any resemblance to real, living, or deceased individuals, or to actual events, is not mere coincidence. From this moment on, you will undergo the degradation of a mind, memories struggling against each other, trying to form a message, trying to remember a reason for existing in. Okay, that is actually very, very cool. That's all, all what you can do on the demo for iCode. So that is something to look forward to. In the future when the full game is going to be released. From what I understand it I'm not entirely sure if it is more entirely inspired or heavily inspired on the concept of like Stein's Gate. I don't know how many of you guys uh, know about that game and the 
you know, there there is an anime and a manga of it. Or essentially that. But yeah, Steins Gate is where you jump between worlds. So, aka, and it also kind of depends on what your decisions or how you interact. Like, again, like uh, what the game said itself, uh, your actions have consequences. So, me killing the cats. <laughs> I ended up having to actually reboot the game because I couldn't actually like interact with anything at all other than you know just walk just walk with the cat I I'm not sure if that's a bug or was it intentional to have that happen so that is something to be checked and hopefully be fixed but then again this is just a demo so who knows what will actually happen in the actual game so yeah so your interactions or different things that you do will lead you or branch you to a different timeline quote unquote of the story for this game so yeah that is interesting i'm actually very very excited to see it being released soon in the future okay uh we're back right, like, guys and that will be it for the demo for icode so everyone go take a break thank you for coming to the stream and we'll be relaxing and that's again pretty much it by the brilliance of the Achiever, ignoring the field of corpses around them. I know I'm going to die here. Everything I do is doomed in the same. But even if I die here, I will prove something. In the end, I'm still me. by the brilliance of the Achiever, ignoring the field of corpses around them. I know I'm going to die here. Everything I do is doomed in the same. But even if I die here, I will prove something. In the end, I'm still me.
Personally, I don't have an opinion. I'm an AI after all. Even so, I'm required to read you the rules before you can proceed. Now, shall we start? Seven days ago, you were born into a world that appears irrevocably fragmented and doomed to repeat itself in an endless cycle of death. Yet, there may be a way to break free from this grim fate through a child, a puppet, a contract. Just be aware, they say that those who sign the contract are doomed that those chased by a puppet are also chased by misfortune. Okay, guys, I am back. Eee! So, yeah, so that's the game called I Code. Very visually, very nice. The music is very good. Is uh, I actually love how well the compose composition of the music. So, yeah, okay, thank you. But, yeah, uh, for those who want to check out, uh, they just wish to start it on Steam and for their official website to get more info about the world of iCode because there are different locations. It's not shown in the demo itself, it is a uh, well, demos are just little sneak peeks of what is in the game. So I don't know if they're going to be providing a longer demo, but uh, this is a good enough uh, amount of demo what it uh, it can show. So there is combat, there is a play of consequences, so your choices, and timelines. So you essentially bounce between timelines, so that would be interesting how it is actually going to be played out. So yeah. You check out on, you guys check out on their website, yeah, uh, about the world, different areas, and there are the, the infos of the characters as well. And the, what do you call that? Um, yeah, infos of the characters. Uh, there are actually characters that are featured in their website that is not in the demo, so you guys better check it out there. And also, yeah, uh, links to their socials. Again, this is actually made by one person. It's a solo dev. 
and for it to be a solo dev and this amount of work placed into it and the idea of it is very very interesting uh, i'm actually very happy about to be able to play it again thank you for i ace the developer and yeah they published their own game into steam the job well done so any comments you guys in the chat can want to input into it just by uh, due to watching it for me what i kind of want to see be able to be inputted in the future is uh <laughs> one uh it, likely like a a number of people um motion blur i hope that can be like controlled at least either be turned off or be lowered depending on the person anyway that wants to see how much uh, motion blur do they want for me i have a little bit of trouble with uh against motion blur so that is something and then what else uh maybe i'm not sure uh, this is just a little nitpick on it maybe a way of uh, remapping able to remap controls for those who uh, for those who play on mouse and keyboard and also for those who play on their controllers then again yeah this is going to be released for pc and ps5 or xbox so that is going to be something to look forward to in the future so uh, for updates you guys just check on their uh website itself and into uh, their it will link into their socials in facebook uh tiktok i think from what i remember youtube and their instagram and yeah like uh, then again this is a solo dev so it will take time definitely so yeah good job so far <laughs> uh one thing as well if you guys in, uh, hop into their the twitter of icode uh they have posted a new and want to like be able to get for those who want to get a copy of the demo this demo you go to their twitter the twitter of icode and yeah uh, they release a new google google doc for you to essentially put in all the information that is being asked there and wait for their response hopefully they're going to be giving you a copy of the demo but yeah so if you guys want to support this game i actually do support this game it, it is such a lovely nice work a good project yeah I have nothing else to say other than that <laughs> in terms of gameplay uh, so far I don't have any qualms about it it is a tease so far it works very very fine I guess maybe there is a little off put I, I don't know maybe it's just me on my response maybe i my response is a little slow but yeah other than that you are guided in audio cues so you actually have to listen the, the music is not just there it is also serving as your guide so that is something to keep in mind for future so yeah, uh, I have nothing else to say. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. Again, thank you to iCode Ace for the opportunity. Uh, other than that, all I can do is be uh, ending the stream today. Because yeah, I have this recorded. <laughs> 
<laughs> so right now i'm going to be ending it i'll be seeing you guys um sometime around this week who knows uh when i will be streaming again but for now that's pretty much it that's all i can do for today and i will be sending you guys over to for a raid oh my god i keep forgetting about to fix the raid oh no i'll be sending you guys over to let's see who is online Raccoon is online. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's uh, let's read Raccoon. I mean, <laughs> if you can, let us read our lovely friend Raccoon here. I don't know if my what is here, but yeah, where is that? Well, okay, they're, they're actually in a break at the moment, so... How long do we mean streaming? Wait, do I send it to Raccoon or do I send you guys over to Taika? 30 minutes rest. Okay. Raccoon, are you there? <laughs> if not, uh... I might as well just send you guys over to Taika. I was actually currently playing Prince of Persia. If you guys know that game, it is a old game, but uh, recently have been. From what I understand, there is a new release on the game itself. Um, how does one read? Oh, wait, I'm dumb. <laughs> wait. Uh, -da. There you go. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to fix my <laughs> raid messages because it got uh, messed up with some sponsorship. Push, push. Hex read. Oh, was it hex read? I didn't know that. Okay, thank you. So yeah, I'll be seeing you guys next time around this week. Maybe in the weekend. Who knows? You guys see me pop by and open on Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Love ya, Janice. Thank you very much, and thank you to who I could check them out.